hello, hello, hello. This is Elle's Company from Bemis Crafty Corner, and I have a, um, well, sort of a review on this one, guys. This one was a request. Uh, I've had a lot of people, if you've watched my channel, you know I love my Xyron. Uh, I love to take anything and turn it into a sticker. It just makes my life so much easier to just be able to put adhesive all over the back of it and slap it down. Uh, to be able to use it and somebody said well isn't there paper that does that like you can buy it by the sheet because a Xyron machine is quite expensive uh, an average to use a Xyron sheet pretty regularly for a year could cost you over a hundred dollars so um, I went and did some searching and I found this particular stuff it's called artist tack it's from graphics and this I found on Amazon and it was like $16.99 for this package and then I went to Hobby Snobby and they sell it for $12.99 so I thought we would buy a pack bring it home and give it a little bit of a shot see how it compares to the Xyron so that I can give you an informed opinion on the product so I'm gonna get some images out some paper and we're gonna follow the directions on the package here and we're gonna take a look at this versus the Xyron and see which one we like or if we like them both. Who knows? I'll be right back. Alright, so the Artist Tack is permanent dry adhesive. And we have permanent dry adhesive in the Xyron. Okay? So I've got out two pieces of cardstock and two images. These are cards that I would use normally to make journal cards to put into some kind of a journal or something like that so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna run the first one and basically with the Xyron all you do is just kind of put it through and turn the handle and it comes out the other end and sometimes this works um, sometimes not so much all right so now that I have that through there I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Okay, we'll get rid of the Xyron. Okay, Xyron. Let's get a piece of this out. So that is a sheet of that. Now I can tell you that this feels very much like this. And according to the instructions, it says step one, peel off one sheet, expose just enough adhesive to use for your project. Place artwork image side up on adhesive, recover with overlay sheet and rub firmly. Peel artwork off adhesive sheet position on thing. Okay. All right, so here is our piece. We're going to peel. Okay, so it peels apart pretty easy. Uh, the texture on this looks kind of like... Um, hmm. It's kind of like a checkerboard almost. So it, it kind of reminds me just a little bit of the stabilizer that we use to make book cloth. So I'm going to put the paper on there. I'm going to get out my bone folder because that's what I use to press my Xyron down. Uh, I'm just going to press this. We're going to get the Xyron piece. I'm going to press that. Okay. And then I have a piece of just regular 65 pound cardstock here. In order to preserve as much of the adhesive here as possible. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I can see it through the piece. And I'm using my icky scissors. I'll take the top off. And we'll go ahead and peel this from the adhesive. 
put it on the cardstock. And then I'm going to bring the other one over. We're going to put that one over here. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Excess can be rubbed off. Consumed area cannot be reused. Grace with translucent media. Okay. So just like with the Xyron, if you have anything that comes around the side, you just kind of rub it like that and it just rolls off. You can also use the top sheet from the Xyron. Uh, here, same thing. Yep, it's rubbing right away. Not a problem. All right, let's get out some good scissors here. Now that we're done with the adhesive. And let's go ahead and cut this out. A little wonky. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. scraps and pieces and we'll take a look okay so this is the piece that we did with the artist tack this is the piece we did on the Xyron so if I were processing the next thing I would do would be to ink these dauber and let's ink this up and what I'm looking for here is to see if this separates from the back in any way you notice it come loose because if it comes loose that's no good so we're gonna do this on both sides and we're gonna do this one as well So let's take a look how they perform. All right, our Xyron piece. It's not separating from the card in the back. It took the ink well. There's no like white line where adhesive may be left behind. Uh, no matter which way I went, it went and it's nice. It's well bonded on there. And then we'll take a look at the uh, artist hack. Um, thought I heard a little lifting when I was inking it, but I don't see that it's separated anywhere. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this, you know, out of the way and I'll be back and we'll go ahead and take a look at the overall on this one, what the number is. Okay. All right. So we are going to grade this exactly the way I grade everything else. We're going to look at function, ease of use, and the value for your money. Okay, so does it do what it's going to say? What's the function? Does it do what it's going to say? Well, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Uh, it permanently dry adheres one paper to another. I don't see any lifting. There's nothing going on. Um, Got to say, it's a 10. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. Okay? 
So the next one is ease of use. How easy is it to use it? Well, you have to take it out of the package. Uh, you have to separate the two sheets, which was relatively easy by comparison to some things that I've had to separate. You know, stickers, um, <laughs> address labels. <laughs> this separated pretty easy. You know, you just stick the item down, cover it up, go over it with the bone folder. Pretty much the same steps that you would use with the Xyron. You still rub it with a bone folder to make sure that it's adhered. Um, you just cut this out just like you would the piece off the Xyron. So is it ease of use? Is it, you know, how complicated is this? Um, I'm going to say probably about, I would give this an eight, a solid eight. And the only reason that I'm going to take a couple of points off of this is like if I had double cards, that wouldn't fit, you know? So you do have to kind of shimmy things around on it, but the same thing with the Xyron. I give that a, an ease of use that's a little low too because of the same feature. Is it worth the money? Well, I get 10 sheets in here for $13, so $1.30 a sheet. Uh, it doesn't give me like the full footage. It's eight and a half by 11 inch sheets, but you know, based on that, you're looking at close to 10 feet. So based on what it takes for a Xyron and how many feet you get on the Xyron, value for the money, is it worth it? Uh, probably a seven because you're gonna pay close to the same price if you buy the Xyron over time and then you do the refills and you're gonna get more on the refills because a Xyron refill is like 30 or 40 feet. So, you would get more on the Xyron. So function, we're gonna say a 10. Ease of use, we're gonna say an eight. Uh, value for, you know, is it worth what it says it's, you know, what they're charging you for it? About a seven. Overall on this one, it's about an eight and a half, guys. This one's about an eight and a half. So I would say that if you're looking for something to be able to do this with, that's gonna save you time, you know, having to put tape on here or glue, and you're just looking for an easier, faster way to do this, and you could, you don't have to use a card. You can do this with the, a die cut, you know, or a sticker or whatever, whatever you wanna turn into a sticker. So is it worth it? I think it is. I think if you do not wanna put the money into a Xyron or you don't have that big bulky machine in your, your house, because let's face it, this is the smaller Xyron, and it's still a pretty bulky machine. Uh, if you want to have the ease of being able to use this to turn your fussy cutting into stickers and things like that, this is definitely a way to do that. You can take a couple of sheets with you. If you go someplace, you can't do that with a Xyron. So if it were me, I'd give it an eight and a half and say, yeah, this one's worth it, guys. Listen, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the red button for me, like me, ring my bell, and share me with all your friends. And then your friends can be my friends, and my friends can be your friends, and our friends can be friends, and that is what a community is all about. Until I see you again, please stay safe. Bye-bye.